we're holding an event, it's called the Growth Factor, a bit of an X-Factor typey event, um, with the 30,000 students that are going to be descending on Swansea in the next five years, with the growth of the two universities, with City Deal bringing all this investment. Rob Stewart's got loads of ideas for Swansea City Centre. There's an enormous appetite for growth and development. And so we wanted to showcase to local businesses what the growth and development opportunities were, and also how local businesses can get involved. How can they tender and procure for those types of opportunities? Opportunities. We don't want them all going to outside um, businesses. We want to use the, you know, the businesses that are here. And Mark James, who's the CEO of Carmarthen County Council, and he's running City Deal alongside with Rob Stewart and other leaders. They're talking very much about making sure that local businesses are part of this and that we bring them all in together. So this really is the first uh, of the major events after the signing of the City Deal. Uh, it's really to help the local businesses, uh, the major uh, potential partners, uh, get an idea of where we are with the City Deal, where we're going to go with it, uh, and really to set out our stall in terms of the next few months. It's an impressive turnout today, a lot of interest has been generated, especially from local businesses, but as uh, you know, Mark, my colleague, was saying, um, we are seeing companies that haven't been active in this region uh, coming to talk to us, looking to invest. Um, you know, it's a real success story already, but you know, we're only just on the start of this journey. There are huge opportunities here for local companies. We're going to be working with local companies to ensure that everybody benefits from this. Whether it's through the supply chain or from companies who want to be part of this, we'll be running events, we'll be making sure that we're consulting with people, talking with people, as today talking with hundreds of companies about what the deal means and how they can be involved and make sure that their businesses can grow alongside the new businesses that we're looking to develop in the region. So the job growth within the region is going to be huge and they have to deliver a certain number of jobs over a period of time. That's absolutely critical to how City Deal works and that's critical to how they've got the money is, is increasing the number of jobs. So I think ultimately there are opportunities for local business, opportunities for local people, but not only that, you know, it has an impact on everything, it has an impact on all the sectors. So today we're looking at transport, city centre, development, health and wellbeing and tourism and leisure because the impact on that growth value will impact on all those different businesses. We've taken on a number of trainees um, from the city's universities, from Trinity, um, particularly running courses that are applicable to our business. So again, the, the level of investment, the growth that's coming off for those, those kind of institutions, they help feed us and, and keep us um, in terms of employment of local people as well. Um, so yeah, it's all it's all really positive. It's uh, de definitely a, a new model for you know what we usually see in terms of just general straightforward public um, invest public sector investment. So um, as a as a national company, we do look at these models throughout the UK, and something that we're definitely looking at and excited about in, in the region. The City Deal has been uh, in development for a number of years uh, and we're working really in partnership with all of the local education, so the universities and Gower College Swansea. And we want to make sure that, that the City Deal, our young people, have a bite of that cherry really. So we're preparing them for those new roles, for those new businesses um, and we're hoping that CFRE will play a big part in developing our young people ready for these opportunities. You know, already there's a £6 billion story going on in terms of development across Swansea with the universities, the health boards, the council driving forward the city centre developments, the private sector driving forward those developments. You know, in the next two or three years, Swansea's going to look like a very different city, not just feel like a very different city. Um, it will have better opportunities in it, it'll have lovely new infrastructure. So there is, as I've said before, this is the biggest change you'll have seen in 70 years as a city. Um, it really is going to be an exciting time to be part of a journey for Swansea to, to to restate itself, to rediscover itself and you know, uh, City of Culture now 2021, we're very hopeful of landing that. Tide Lagoon, uh, we understand that's where the Prime Minister has signed off. Um, so you know, very shortly we will have a, a, a story I think that's going to be hard to match anywhere in the UK. Come to Swansea Bay Futures and we will be that business support network that helps businesses and points them in the right direction, but ultimately connects everybody. Already today we've had people coming up and saying we want to work with you because we can see a value in the members and the partners that you have and we can see an absolute value in working together you know, for the good of the region. So I think in the next five years I see our role as growing and developing and being that connecting support with, with, with local business.